Oh my. I'm gonna walk, but I gotta walk all the way back up through this. Welcome to a Creek Fishing Adventures 3 for 3. In this series, we're going to be doing three waterfalls in three days and making three videos on them. Holy cow. I chose three waterfalls within an hour to an hour and a half of my house that I've never been to. I go to explore them, also take a fishing rod and hike down to them to see what they look like. What does the waterfalls look like? Is there any fish that I can be caught? And just explore it, have fun. Also probably gonna do some swimming since it is in the middle of the summer. Here it is. Here we go again. This is day two of my waterfall quest or whatever I'm gonna call it. Yesterday's was a doozy and it was way more hiking than I thought. I'm still tired from that. Plus I'm picked a really hot week to do this thing. So today I'm going to uh, Foster Falls. I don't know for sure if I've been there. I think I may have been there like a couple years ago. I got a bunch of waterfalls, a bunch of, I got all kinds of places marked on my phone. And so I, I kind of looked this morning for a place. This one was about an hour and 10 minutes away over near Sequatchie, Tennessee. Let's, uh, I got, I'm going through a little bit of Chattanooga traffic, but hopefully we get there in just a few minutes. I'm pretty sure I have been here with my buddy, Nathan. Probably had to be three, two, three years ago, but it looks like there's a bunch of people here. So hopefully I can get some fishing in. Oh, there's the water. I hear a bunch of people down there. Oh, wow. I think the waterfall is not even flowing. I think that's supposed to be the waterfall right there. I'll have to go back and see if I have video of it from when I was here before. Either way, there's water down there to fish in. So. There's a swinging bridge to cross. There's like no water flowing. And there's a guy over there fishing right there. There's some bluegill right there. There's a bunch of little bass right there. Wow, there's like no water coming in. We got a, just a little trickle of water, but a big deep pool. Here's a nice swimming area. Definitely some fish right here. And it looks like I can go around the edge here. I may walk around through the water. I think I'll catch something. There's a bunch of bluegill right here. Green sunfish, bluegill and green sunfish. Right here, I'm gonna have to go to a, I don't remember if I brought any less small, really small lures, but I bet I can catch some with some really small lures. Oh, they're all up on the bank right here. Ooh. Oh wow. There's a lot of little fish in here. There's one. There we go. What do I got here? Oh, he's coming in. Oh, easy. Warmouth, beautiful warmouth. He didn't put up much of a fight. Holy cow, look at the colors on that guy. Man, he looks kind of lethargic. That guy don't, I wonder if this water is so warm. Well, it can't be that warm for him. Hey, swim off, all right. All right, one fish down. Go. Greeny. Little green sunfish. Put a bunch of these guys in here. I think it's a big green sunfish. Dude, there's so many little green sunfish in here. Got one of them. There's so many little ones. The 
guys don't they look at a little thin. I guess if there's not a lot of water coming in, there's not a lot of food for them to eat. There's a big one right there. I want that big green sunfish. There we go. A little bit bigger one. What is that? Another warm mouth. That's cool. I put a little uh, crawl. I got kids swimming everywhere. They're just all over the place. Probably would be able to catch a ton if there wasn't so many kids out here, but that's a pretty cool. They look healthy. Got him. <laughs> I twisted on the ground. Oh, it's another warm mouth. Goodness. I don't know when was the last time I caught so many warm mouth except when I was in North Carolina on the coast. Eat it, eat it. Eat it all the way. Got it. <laughs> These guys are just coming out of the rocks right here, right off the bank. They're coming out of the rocks and just, they can't help but hit it. These are cool. I did not expect to be catching warm mouth today. Oh yeah. That's a good fish right there. I think he's a big, is he a big green sunfish or a big warm mouth? Oh my goodness, it's a giant green sunfish. That is a monster green sunfish. Holy cow. Dude, that is a chunk. That guy's living good. Look how fat he is. Big old mouth on him. Who knew that this was the place where I'd catch one of the biggest green sunfish ever caught? There's a nice, there's a little bass out there. The only thing I haven't got is a largemouth, and there's there's one sitting right there. I threw right on his head. It's like a 12 inch one right there. I wonder if there could be some, how much, how big of a bass could live in here. You're good, come on, go. Come on, go. See all those little fish in front of you? They're everywhere. I don't know, I haven't got anything bigger yet. I only seen small stuff. I wanna get a one bluegill at least out of here. It's mostly green sunfish in here. I thought I saw some bluegill. Maybe I didn't. Hey, there's our first bluegill. Okay. We did get a bluegill out of here. A little tiny one, but we got warm mouth bluegill, green sunfish, and I know there's large mouth. It'd be cool to use this for bait, throw it out deep. But uh, I don't have time for that. It would be kind of neat to see if there's like a catfish or something else out there in the out there in the deep. But with all these people here, I'm surprised I'm catching the fish I'm catching. I tried to hug my little top water, and I'm gonna try to crank bait. Uh, that's maybe my last thing I try here. Just a lot of people, a lot of noise. Surprised I've really surprised I've caught the fish I've caught. The bass though, I wanted to get a large mouth. Don't know if I'm gonna get it. This waterfall was not too hard to get to. It was definitely so much easier than the last one. And real interesting, um, I didn't know there's gonna be 30, 40 people down there. there. There was a lot, a bunch of kids, a bunch of yelling noise. It's definitely not like one of those most, more scenic, quiet uh, places that I go because it was it was out a little ways out in the country, but just all kinds of people there. And then I drove over here to check out this other creek that I, I've been wanting to fish also. And it's kind of, since I was in the area, I saw a spot downstream, I went over to this bridge, there was two guys in there waiting, fishing. Came up to another spot, there's people up there swimming. I finally found another spot that I could get to. 
and the water's really low and really calm. So I don't know if I'll catch anything. Hopefully I'll get a couple fish out of here, but we'll, we'll end it off. I gotta at least try to get a couple more bass or something today. There's one. Okay, let's see if we can get a fish in out of here. And it's a smallmouth. Okay, well, he's got a bass today. A little smally. All right, yeah, there's a little deep pocket right here. This is a nice, looks like a nice smallmouth stream. I've been to it one time before too. It was the same, I think it was the same time I came to that falls because this is uh, pretty close to it and the water was way higher. There we go. Finally a decent little fish. Oh, there's like four or five of them right there. I knew somewhere there's gonna be a few of them sitting hungry. This is a nice little, well, that's a, actually a long pool right here. Okay. Come here. Oh, nice. 11 inch smallmouth. Here we go. Long, skinny. This is a creek, but it's got some decent little holes to it, but it's, there's several spots are about dried up. Let's see if I can get another one out of that area. Not sure where there were several other ones that were right there with it. Oh, they're back there. They're sitting right in the current was coming in, right in the ambush area. There it is. There's another one. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, I got two, at least two of them. Oh, this feels a little bigger. Yeah. All right, a little bit bigger there, close to the same size. Got a little crawl on there. Got a little hump to him. Oh, yes. Okay, we're gonna go top water. <laughs> I saw a little wake. I think he swiped at it and I just kept on going and he came back and hit it. Here's another one about that. There must be a bunch in here about this size or let little 11, 12 inch size, just good little creek size here. Oh, he inhaled that thing. Oh, don't look. That's a little bit bigger one. Oh man, he, he really wanted that. Well, that's a pretty one right there. He's got some really nice colors. This water is a little bit warm. Even these mountain streams, it's, whoa. This water has gotten warm for these fish. They're used to that cold water up here. I got a fish on. I think I was stuck and then this fish came and ate it. Hey, it's a rock bass. Well, thank you for getting me unstuck. Oh, there we go. Well, they were a little bit further back in the pool. Thought they'd be a little bit shallower. But this could be another rock bass. Yep. Oh, that's a fat little dude. What small is that? Somewhere in here, there's a 
couple good smallmouth. Whoa. What is this? Good thing I didn't turn back just yet. This looks like it's got some potential. Need a couple more fish. Need a couple more bass. Oh, here we go. Eat it. Come on. Oh. Oh, yeah. There they are. They're right there. That last pull was crazy. Like, it skipped a pull with the fish. This one had a bunch of fish. Second one, there's nothing. Then this one here, I see a bunch of them right up here shallow. Little, little guys right now. See if we can catch one or two of these. I'm just biting on it. Come on. There they are. Eat it. Oh, he wants it. Oh. Eat it. Yeah, I got it. <laughs> I'm just watching. There's three or four of them. Come here. Oh, yeah. He's up. He's a little fat, too, because he's up here eating. In the eating zone. All right. Got a little blood on him, but he's just, he's not hurt. He'll be good. Get right back in there. Come on, baby. Give me a big and take it off with it. Oh, oh, no. Oh. There it is. There we go. Oh, nice. Got a bunch of little taps on that one. Oh, no. Get out of that rock. Oh. Get me cut up. This little, little bass here is going to break me off. Hey, he's got some power to him. That's a nice one there. Really healthy. Oh, right there. Yep. I was about to say that looks good and what? What happened? I, I, mean, I got a good one or something. Oh, it is a good one. I thought it was a little one. I thought I had a little one on and all of a sudden, I think a little one hit it and that came off and this guy hit it. This might be the best fish of the day. Dude, not bad at all. Come here. Come here. Oh, nice, nice. You don't want to stop fighting. Goodness. These are brown, really got a different color to them. I was kind of changing as I keep it out of the water, but cool looking fish. Let's see if we can go over to. Yep, there he is. Oh my. This feels like a really good one. Oh, he's about the same size. These, these guys are just so strong. A couple of my caught earlier were like kind of lethargic, but these guys are fired up. You got a lot more room in here. Man, it was worth coming down here. Oh, there's a bunch of little bass, a whole bunch of little bass right here. Two for two out of that spot right by that rock. There's like a little, looks like it's deep right there. This is a nice one, too. Oh, that's a good one. That's, that's at least a 13 inch. Beautiful smallmouth. Dude, super nice. Man, I'm glad I did a little exploring today. Well, I may have to do some kayak, kayaking on this creek. There's a couple spots back there where you definitely have to drag your kayak, but man, then there's a section like this. Oh, there's a fish right there. That's a good one too. What, pay attention, he was swimming off with it. Not real big. There's a section like this where, oh, came off. Why are you 200 yards and, you know, most of the fish are gonna be up here at the head of the pool, but there could be fish all through there. At a big hole like this. 
another great day hiking to a waterfall second one down stay tuned not sure where i'm going to go tomorrow last thing to do is uh jump in and cool off i went downstream explored a little while caught some good smallmouth there's some people swimming upstream still but there's a huge deep hole right here i'd love to explore this i may have to bring my kayak here one day and just kind of kayak way up there and then go down that way where those you know deep pools are and just fish those and find a place to pull out but that'll be another day right now i'm gonna jump in Nothing like cooling down in some cool creek water. Yesterday I was so hot, I barely ate anything. I, I didn't even eat supper till like 10 o'clock because I just couldn't eat. Today, I'm feeling like eating. Going to Mexican.